Hello everyone, it is me, Sarah Simmer, and here we are with our first CC video. So, um, yes, I, I always go to The Sims Catalog, My The Sims, The Sims Resource, or my best friend, Google. So, yeah, um, honestly, this is where, uh, well, right here is The Sims Catalog. This is where you can find, uh, CC homes, CC lots. You can find some pretty much everything, and, um, it'll, like, route you to, uh, The Sims Resource or Mata Sims or whoever made it. So, The Sims Catalog is pretty much like The Sims Resource, but just a little bit better. Don't require, um all that long wait time and all that but right here is the sims resource because the house that i wanted was on the sims resource but it's okay i love the sims resource um they say don't download a lot of those sims 3 like files where you have to like download it to the launcher and then like click on it to install it from the launcher they say package files are a lot better than you know those type of Sim sims 3 pack files so yeah um this is pretty much where i've gotten leilani's house uh nick's house uh who's that um raheem and ebony's house i got all their stuff from here so this is me right now picking out their houses so i was just like hmm who do i see living in this house oh okay i can see mariah and quinn living in this house well i can see um nick and his parents living in this house like i've downloaded so many homes but I was actually thinking about um, putting Derek into the town, but then I was like, no, because we met Derek in Ocean View. So we'll get to meet him eventually. Um, like I say, I might be moving everyone, uh, Mariah, Quinn, Raheem, Ebony, Nick, his parents, and Leilani and her parents. I might just end up moving everyone to LA. I did download um, the city um los angeles i think i downloaded it off of here which well not the sims resource but the sims catalog i had um they have worlds on there too like they have like a new york world they got some small worlds some uh vacation worlds they got some of everything when i say the sims catalog is the place to be the sims catalog is the place to be because they have everything that you will want and need and it's all like in nice and neat order so yeah, but here I am downloading, I think, the last house. And I think this house, I had made it into Nick's house. But I still got to decorate um, Nick's house and whatnot because it's still kind of bare. And then, yeah. But, yeah, this is pretty much what I was doing. I was just looking at houses and I was just like, man, I want some different houses in my game. Because I'm not good at designing houses. But I am good with the interior decorating but some of these custom content well some of these custom content homes come with like cc furniture cc bedroom cc kitchen stuff like it comes with stuff already in game so i mean not in game but in like the file so that's less downloading you will have to do so that's part of the reason why i like some of these homes because it comes already packed with the you know cc furniture and stuff that you need for the house so yeah, I didn't do any um, CC furniture shopping at all, like at all. I think I just did um, community lots, homes, and clothing for teens because that's one thing I never get is teen clothing. So up next is the community lots because I cannot find no more homes. So yeah, here we are moving on to the community lots. So the community lots, I did get them off of the Sims catalog again. So this is where I got the bowling alley. You see it right there, the spectacular bowling alley. Then I was just trying to find some other stuff to do. You can also download the Eiffel Tower. So remember, I don't know if you guys remember, but back in the Mariah and Quinn, whenever uh, they had all went to Paris, I had downloaded um, the Eiffel Tower from that website I was just on. So pretty much that's, you know, what's going on with that. So... Uh, that is the floating sushi bar. I did not put that in my game just yet because um, it's something missing in it to where like it comes with these little plants. I don't think it's actually supposed to come with it, but I got to fix that and find some stuff to put up in there. But this is where I get my community lots from. Um, I'd be trying to find some like places for teens to hang out and also adults, but... 
it's so hard because when you're looking for certain things it's like you gotta have certain custom content stuff in your game so it's ways around it to where like you can find custom content well you can find community lots that require you know game packs or expansion packs and whatnot so yeah but i downloaded a couple of things for them to do and we will see some of those in game we seen them no we didn't see them all but i've seen them all we have seen this bowling alley and this bowling alley is on mod the sims and as you can see it comes with like a list of like custom content stuff that you have to download like i was gonna re-download that stuff but then i kind of thought about it and was like heck no nah. so i ended up deleting it and just keeping you know just the bowling alley because it's too much that you have to download like you got to download the pins the windows the um tvs it's just so much that you have to download and some of those stuff like don't even work like they don't even have it anymore so it's kind of pointless but um it's actually worth it because you can if you are creative then you could pretty much just add whatever you want into the community a lot to make it look real so yeah but here I am just looking for more community lots, but it wasn't downloaded for me. So please, please, please do not download stuff on your computer if it does not allow you to. Like, don't do it. If it says error or if it's reading in like a different language that you cannot understand, do not download it. Like, I promise you, do not download it because more than likely it will most definitely mess up your game so do not download things that are bad for your game and with that being said here i am trying to find more stuff and i think this is a house i think but i was trying to find like a little cool nightclub and stuff for them to do because i've never really played in the town of sunlit tide so i mean i played in it a little bit but it's not really all that big or fun like if you don't have stuff to go in it so i was thinking about downloading that car lot and i was thinking about like hmm maybe i can have mr b you know on this one day or whatever but then i'm like heck no nah. so here we are doing google looking for community lots and um like i said it's so many websites out there they have pinterest and of course my sim reality always comes up so you can go there download um like the pack file houses and also store content stuff so that's also one of the pluses with um my sim reality is that you can download these houses and it requires you know store pack and some um expansion packs and stuff packs and stuff so yeah this is all i was doing i was trying to find some but i couldn't find not nothing so i eventually We'll keep looking because, you know, I'm not going to give up. I'm like, I'm trying to find some good places. And this, the the CC Boodle, I think that's how you say it. Caboodle. Yeah, that person, they are no longer doing custom content anymore. Like, they cut their, um, what is it called? They cut their website off. So, yeah, she or he was coming up all on what was that google and also on pinterest and i was so mad because they had some nice when i say nice nice looking custom content um community lots and oh my goodness it was just so messed up so i was just trying to figure out some alternatives but that stuff wasn't loading so i was just like maybe i shouldn't download it because the picture wasn't loading so i was just like oh forget it so um <laughs> It just messed me up because that Caboodle person had so many good community lots. But some creators do get annoyed because some simmers can be like, oh, well, it's not working for my game or it glitched out or it's this is that. It's like you have to work with these modders because, you know, we're learning stuff. And also, I don't make mods, but I'm just saying like they're learning stuff. So you have to kind of be patient with them and you know just give them time like they putting it out for us so stop being so mean on the creators you know so be nice to the creators y'all be nice to the creators because lord we we already have it hard so um what else i was trying to yeah this is me looking for something for them to do and then i'm like man i just hope y'all don't give up on me in this let's play because I have no idea why my game hates me so much like it always gives up on me and just wipes itself clean or it just glitches out so yeah now here I am on 
my the sims this is the moist and mild that's my favorite one and also the slick slack um community lot that's the one right here on the bottom bottom right bottom left sorry bottom left <laughs> and yeah the slick slacks yes that comes with um the different color roller coasters it comes with um the bowling alley it comes with a lot of stuff to do up in there too so i gotta place that lot down too so it's a lot of stuff that i kind of downloaded wanted to download but didn't really think it would fit in the game so i'm just like uh sunlight ties it's like i said it's a nice world it's beautiful but it is kind of small so it's just a lot of water everywhere i feel like sunlight ties is more so like for like a single sim or someone who like washed up on shore type of deal <laughs> but well that kind of sounded like a castaway but nah um i do want to let y'all know i do plan on doing a university lp soon i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i might incorporate it with um generations so yeah that's the mall that i was talking about too so on to teen female clothing and accessories so like i say i don't have a lot of female well teen female clothing hairs i don't have a lot of teen boy clothes i barely have children's clothes barely have toddler clothes i just have like a lot of young adult and adult clothes so i don't even have any elder clothes like i feel like the elders clothes is just for the base game only but if you have that fashionista granny or like that pimped out grandpa yes but um yeah so i think um the caboodle person was coming up again but some of this stuff came off of the sims resource and like i say some of this came off people's websites so Pinterest is your best friend, Google is your best friend, also The Sims Resource and my The Sims. So here I am on to The Sims Resource. As you can see up top, I've already found some. I just had to kind of look myself because it was taking me forever to find stuff for teens because some of that stuff was mixed in with like young adult and all that stuff. And I'm like, oh no. So it was taking me too long. So I had to cut part of this. So as you can see, these are the little items that I am downloading um we will see mariah and um leilani and also her friend gwendolyn wearing some of these little outfits as well because i've made um summer i think i made summer like 25 days or 27 days um in the world so yeah i'm just downloading a couple little outfits for little leilani and her friends because i do want them to you know throw parties and stuff like that like i want leilani to really like explore herself and i don't want her to be stuck on just one person which is nick because when i say leilani is real life stuck on nick like she's stuck on nick like i'm trying to get her to explore her options like deal with glenn and someone else and it's like girl but i think i might make um leilani a little bisexual just to kind of spice things up a little bit um have her be bisexual have her like girls and boys and i might make a another female and um might make a cousin or something i don't know we'll see we shall see so they should be oh yeah so yeah here i am also getting um lipsticks and two because i don't have like i say i don't have much um makeup cc i don't have much of facial hairs you're gonna see all that so i started completely fresh on my mods folder so she's looking a little bare but we'll slowly get there i don't want to overwhelm my computer again i just kind of want to see what's working and what's not working so just gonna start off small and then if it works keep going so that's normally what you're supposed to do never download a bunch of mods at one time because that will fry your computer just download maybe like i say a 150 to maybe like 200 mods a day if your computer can take it but if you have a weak computer please just stick to like 10 20 to see what works for your computer so here we are on to the teen male clothing like I say, I don't have many male clothing at all. Well, teen male clothing. Don't have many male clothing. So um, I'm trying to be diverse with my clothing items because I tend to stick to one style. And that's just jeans, sweatshirt, and sweatpants and stuff like that. So 
trying to be a little diverse and pick like tank tops and all that good stuff so here i am just clicking on stuff on oh yeah i'm on the sims resource i know i was talking about those um sims 3 files yeah i say they aren't good for your game but sometimes you have no choice but to download it for your game because if it's cute why not download it so that's what i ended up doing so here i am picking a couple of pieces for i think nick and quinn um we're gonna see them wearing some of these pieces as well i do plan on doing another video um here soon i just couldn't tell you when so um man <clears throat> i need some water but um i hope you guys are still here with me i'm trying to talk for the whole 30 minutes but i know sometimes some people voices can be kind of annoying and i know mine isn't all that great but um yeah we just gonna make it work but like i said um i'm just about to start downloading the pieces and then i think up next would it be i think male hair or in female hair i think i think because yeah like i say i think i have all like young adult stuff in my game so i don't really pay attention to the kids the toddlers and the teens much but generations is all about toddlers well babies on up to teens so yeah well it's all about babies on up to elderly people but the more fun parts is from toddler age on up to teens then you know it gets kind of boring after a while but yeah um so like i said i'm just downloading the rest of the male stuff and then i will be going on to the female hair and the facial hairs so i didn't download any sliders in my game that is recommended if you like your sims to look a certain way because some of the little i guess you can say sliders in the sims 3 it's okay but i feel like it should be like the sims 4 like the sims 4 you can real life like adjust the cheekbone you can adjust the eyes like you can do all that instead of like sliding stuff or downloading extra mods to get that like that's crazy to me so hopefully whenever they make the sims 5 if that's gonna be a thing that you know they can kind of incorporate a lot of things but i know the sims team they just kind of put together whatever they can and just put it out to us and then they just have us critique it i've noticed that with the sims team since being you know a simmer since 2009 so the sims team pretty much put out whatever they can and then they just kind of let the simmers you know let them know like hey this isn't working i remember one time seasons came out and seasons was so glitched out like the snow the snow like i think the snow was I think it was snowing whenever it was like 60 some degrees it was just it was weird so yeah here we are on to accessories and facial hair the accessories i really mean the freaking teen hair i didn't really download any like um earrings or anything i have to do that so yeah but um let's see i'm sorry i was answering my mom's text message so here are some of the hairstyles that i've got for some of the boys um i think we've seen glenn wearing the little teen man bun and then nick was wearing um one of these hairstyles and then quinn has the updo of the dreads so i kept his dread head going but yeah I'm just about to start downloading this hair now because it was so many hairs but then again like with some of these hairs you have to be careful because it can real life morph your sims into looking a certain way and it's just like ugh. and also I didn't even show where I got my skins and stuff from but I do download my skins off of my the sims or I go to the sims catalog or I go to um, the sims resource um, a lot of people say mango smoothie is good for skins also mango smoothie is good for the lighting mod if you don't have a lighting mod in your game i really honestly suggest that you get a lighting mod in your game because the lighting mod really really helps your game looks more realistic so 
get the lighting mod if you don't and then if you want custom skins i say download them because custom skins do kind of make a difference in the game but when you get the npcs they do be kind of looking jacked up so it's like now you gotta remake the whole town but who has time for that who cares but only one who cares is only one who cares i feel like the only thing you should care about is your sims so now i am on to the female hairs which i thought i was but that was the male hairs but now we're doing the female hairs so we will be seeing leilani and mariah and her friends in these different hairstyles i think these are teen appropriate if not it is okay because um she'll eventually be aging up soon into a young adult and i want them all to be roommates and to go off to university together let's just see how that stuff go but we got some ways to go it's just crazy how i'm already on part 30 of generations i honestly didn't think i would make it past 20 episodes but i did because i didn't make it past i think 20 some episodes with mariah and them either so it is what it is i'm just so thankful for y'all like y'all don't understand i love whenever y'all comment on my videos or y'all laugh at my at my funny jokes some of those jokes do be funny some of those jokes be like for real because i be i be mad sometimes but not all the time so oh i actually love this little bun that updo bun is so freaking cute and i think i had i think i had gave it to leilani just to see if it looked good on her head and oh my god y'all she looks so freaking cute so on to the makeup section so this is very 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 scarce because um by scarce i mean like it's very simple because i did not download much i just downloaded eyeliner and i think a couple of lipsticks um didn't do the blushes or anything i already have a couple already in game um i got the Aaliyah blush and i think it's another one so um yeah i just downloaded some eyeliners and stuff i didn't really do much of the lipsticks and the eyeshadows and all that stuff i didn't even do accessories like i wanted to like i wanted to search for earrings necklaces and bracelets and all that stuff i will do that as well um and probably get some more clothing items i don't know yet but i do want to get more um I do want to get more uh, CC makeup because I don't have much of it. I was thinking about downloading the sliders mods, but I might not. So I might just leave everything how it is. And I tried to make Leilani and her parents look just as similar, but things happen and y'all are still riding with me. I know I keep saying it, but y'all just don't understand how like hurt I was because I really wanted to see what was gonna happen between Leilani, Derek, and Nick? Like, man, I was hoping Nick was gonna lay the smack down on Derek, but he wasn't. So, here we are on to the CC cars. So, if y'all know Fresh Prince um, Creations, he is the guy with all of the fly whips. Everyone, and I literally mean everyone, every simmer knows about Fresh Prince Creations. He has one of the best freaking cars. And you can download the Sims 3 package file, or you can download the Sims 3 file, which is basically uploading it through the launcher. So I did the package files, and that's how I was able to get um, all the cars and stuff. So every car that you see I'm getting is every car that is in my game. I did eventually have to do some Sims 3 package, Sims 3 pack files. Um, but other than that, yeah. So, oh look at that. That, that's Leilani's old truck that I had got. So, man. But, um, I had to, like, really find some cute cars because I know Leilani is eventually going to be learning how to drive here soon. I think she's level one and a half or, like, level two of the driving skill. I don't know. I got to look. Um, so, eventually, we're going to have to get Leilani a car, car here soon. So, I think we might give her the G-Wagon. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Or well, this Audi. This Audi is nice, too. But... Like I said, this is where I get all of my cars. Y'all see that Lamborghini? That is Leilani mom car. That mug is so nice. I love the way it look. So, yeah. And then I just kept looking for cars. I was just trying to think of 
who would look right in what car so i think that challenger that i had passed yeah there it is that's the one i had ended up getting and i think i gave that to nick's dad or i think i gave it to raheem one of those and um i got the jeep cherokee as well because that srt oh we i love it love it love it i want a jeep one day but i'll have to probably wait until i probably get more kids because that jeep is pretty pretty big but um i think this was all i got i think i was just looking to see if there were some other cars i could get like there's a lot of old school cars and a lot of newer cars but i didn't really see leilani or anyone in those so here we are going on to the game mods so i normally go to mod the sims because they have um like you know stuff in order so basically like if you want game mods you just click my well downloading and then you hit game mods and then it'll show you like oh you should put this in your game you should put this in your game you know stuff like that so basically like, what you see here is what you would basically be like oh i would like this in my game so that at the toddler acts for things that is like the perfect mod for the babysitters because if you play the sims 3 and you know the babysitters suck in the sims 3 then you know that mod will actually go great because you can i think that mod is actually recently um new so yeah they uh toddlers can ask babysitters hey can you feed me can you change me stuff like that this weight gain mod i wanted to download it which i think i did but i think you had to like do something first um i don't know what you had to do but yeah i do want to get that um growth mod and i also want to get the one mod where it says like your age also the option two pills i wanted to get that as well but you gotta do too much to get it like i think you had to download an extra mod I, oh yeah i downloaded the returners mod but i think i had to like download another mod and i was just like what so i think i only had to download the cabinet for the pills to go into but i was just being lazy this day so i think i might end up downloading it again because i wanted miss linda to take the plan b pill you know because i didn't want her to have another baby but i'm just like nah let's just add to the to the storyline why not so um i think i had got the journal the journal mod from here as well and then um what is that the juice mod where basically they can get juice so yep here is the journals journal mod where um i had leilani write in her journal that mod is really good and then also i think it is the um like i said the juice mod and then the break-in house mod i wanted to get that as well but it was too much you had to do like you see that like it was too much you had to do too much so i'm just like what so it's like oh download one two and three and i'm like wait i'm not trying to mess up my game so let me just wait a minute so the better play dates is a good one for um sims 3 generations because if you have a child then you know play dates are actually fine for the kids so i wanted to download that mod i did have it before but end up letting it go right along with the kinky mod I don't show you guys how to get the kinky mod. I didn't even download the kinky mod only because um, that mod is pretty big and it's kind of glitchy. So you got to be careful with that kinky mod because it comes with so many additives to it like the positions and certain things. But um, oh yeah, I downloaded the iPhone 8. I might change that out and get the iPhone. I think they have like an iPhone 12 or something plus on here so uh yeah everyone has iphone eights now but yeah i think that was pretty much it with that wasn't it i don't think i downloaded well yeah i have to get that juice mod but i think after that that was pretty much it so we only got a couple more seconds left in this video so like i say i didn't really um download too much because like i said i did not want to mess up my game so yeah all that child to toddler thing i was trying to get that too but i'm gonna get that sliders mod that actually um you know shifts everyone's uh height and also y'all had missed it the shop from the 
the clothing rack I got that as well so whenever I go to the mall I could just click on the clothing rack and then you know go from there so this is the last thing that I download which is the custom beverages so you know instead of getting that that glass with the little blue stuff in it they actually pick up these drinks so it's just a little something to add more realism to the game because why not this can't get no realer than this so i'm pretty much done looking at stuff and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys are stay tuned for part 30 of let's play the sims 3 generation so once again, I love you guys. I thank you guys so much for rocking out with me. Thank you for keeping me motivated and inspired. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.